Good morning. This is Dwight Davis. Welcome to our Bird Notes. On those winter days when the chill factor is all important, when the wind is softening through the leafless hardwoods and the loblolly needles, and when the ice shows designs on the edges of ponds and puddles, on those cold days, we realize just how ill-equipped we are to survive in such weather. Were it not for the adaptive advantage of a brain that allows us to build shelters with heat, humans would have a tough time of it. On those brittle, bitter days of winter, we appreciate the chickadee, then, all the more. This friendly, inquisitive ball of feathers by right should not make it through the winter. A warm-blooded animal so small has a high surface area to volume ratio, and thus much more opportunity, relatively speaking, than the larger animals to lose heat. That being the case, we should find chickadees on a winter morning all frozen and strewn about on the ground. But no, the chickadee survives the winter by actually being able to find enough food to sustain its high metabolic rate and body temperature. Some of that food comes from sunflower seeds and suet from feeders, some from hidden insect larvae and eggs. He survives also by fluffing out his feathers and trapping air, one of the great ways to insulate, and in some cases by huddling together in cavities with others of his species. And not only does the chickadee survive the cold, but he actually seems to enjoy it. When the winds are blowing snow and the thermometer shows little red, there he is, pert and active, defying the elements, flitting among the bare branches with his fellow winter mites, the nuthatches, and the kinglets and all the while chattering cheerfully about it. Of course, it's our subjective interpretation that allows us to designate the chickadee's call as cheerful. Actually, it is simply one call of one small bird, which has adapted to survive cold climates. But then, if we want to hear it as a bright and optimistic note of goodwill coming from a handsome and friendly neighbor, overcoming the muted mood and colors of the winter landscape, well then... Why not?